Hey, Willie, see the pyramids? By Myra Coleman. Sometimes in the middle of the night when it is dark, I call to my sister, Lulu, 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 wake up, I can't sleep, tell me stories. Oh no, says Lulu from far away, not again, and shuffles over to my bed. She wiggles around, gets comfortable, sinks in. How many, she says. A million, I say. No, she says. Five, I say. Okay, five. And Lulu begins. Big story. A very big woman in a red dress walked down the street with three cross-eyed dogs. When the dogs saw a yellow car, they started to bark. The barking woke Aunt Ida, who immediately started to sing. The singing woke Uncle Morris, who immediately started to dance. Green Hat The three cross-eyed dogs felt hungry. They went to a fancy restaurant and got a good table. At the restaurant, a woman in a green hat took a picture of a man in a blue suit while flowers sat on the table and smelled so sweet. Tiny Story Four very tiny people walked right by me on the way to school. No one knew where they were going but they were walking very fast and carrying little instruments. Fish Story In front of blue mountains and green mountains, a thin, skinny man saw fish flying up. The Story of the Party Aunt Ida had a party. The whole family was there. Mr. Zelikovich brought his son, the genius, who was always eating herring and reading books. Sarah, the beauty, sat in the middle of the room peeling apples. Leon brought ten warm cakes, and Aunt Rose wore her bathing suit because she swims in the ocean every day. The party was getting noisy. Ida introduced Ina to Ada, Ada to Dada, and Dada to Dudu. Machel Schmelkin, our sweet neighbor next door, walked into the room. He was carrying a big bouquet of cherry branches, but he forgot to wear his pants. It was time for the surprise. Please sit down, announced the man in the red suit. I will sing a song for you. We clapped and shouted, Bravo! And Jerome fell off his chair. Am I sleeping? Yes. Am I dreaming? Yes. Did Mr. Zelikovich bring his pet chicken? Yes, he did. Did Dada and Dudu wear hats? Yes, pointy ones. Did Machel Schmelkin really forget his pants? Yes, it's true. Could you tell me more stories? Shh. Listen. Chicken story. A girl in a green dress bought three oranges and a chicken for dinner. Then she dressed her brother neatly in red pants and a little blue shirt. They danced and danced until it was late. Eddie and Buddy Eddie and Buddy, the twins, had a party. The room was a mess. 
and everything was upside down. A boy named Willie was running around. Hey, said the boy. Where's my shoe? Hey, he said. I should have two. Tiptoe Story Aunt Ida and Uncle Morris had a dog named Max. Max wanted to live in Paris and be a poet. In the evening, Max would tiptoe down the hall with a suitcase, trying to sneak out of the house. Ida would say to Morris, Quick, Morris, catch the dog! The Poem of Max Max felt blue. He went to the cafe and ordered black coffee and biscuits. He wrote down a poem that went like this. Dig that boy with a box on his head. Is he buying bread? Is his name Fred? And that tall noodle woman with the polka dot shoes. Have you ever seen a nose so red? Green Face my cousin Irvin has a green face and orange hair. He is a scientist, and he told me about germs and about something that is called nothing. His mother has very small ears, but she hears everything, and he can fly backwards, and his car goes upside down, and his wife sings in operas, and his son sees people floating. What is nothing, I ask? Nothing is when you are given a very small portion of ice cream by an adult. And you look at the plate and at the adult and you ask for more. And the adult says, you have a huge portion. And you say, that's it? That's nothing. And that is nothing, says Lulu. I love Max the dog, and I will take him to Paris one day. I want to go to sleep, Alexander. Oh, just one more story. And then good night. A boy had a dream. He had gone on a trip to a faraway place. It was hot and sandy. The evening was pink and far off music was in the air. His uncle turned to him and with a sweep of his arm said, Hey, Willie, see the pyramids? The end, Lulu whispers. I think I am asleep. Then Lulu shuffles back to her bed and we both sink in and see flying chairs and green hats and pink things and sink some and slowly sink into sleep.